You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing Raw from February 12th. Yeah. Um, really, really solid show. Yeah, yeah. Raw Raw has uh, Raw has it going on. They know what they're doing. <laughs> they got it going on, Yeah, just huh? like Stacy's mom. Ooh. Um, yeah, like... Like, I want to come on here and bash the show, but there's nothing to... Yeah, you can't say anything. Really, yeah. There's not not much I can say that's... Everything felt like it had a purpose. Well, here's the thing. It seems like with Raw, there's nothing that is more important than anything else. Everything is kind of on the same level, like... Like, uh-huh. we have the women's oh, yeah. chamber match, the men's chamber mm-hmm. match. You don't feel like anything's overshadowed right, by Right, exactly. Things. It's not SmackDown where there's one storyline that they're pushing down your throats and everything else is just kind of like by the wayside. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. They, they do a better job conveying the stories, yes. too. And we have multiple stories going on. At the for, same time? Yeah, in the chamber matches. Yeah. For both oh, of them. There's potential setups for a number of things. Right. So that definitely... And that it's just good storytelling. And yeah. that's, that's all we really ask yeah, for. Yeah, And the quality of matches have been good. Well, I think, what, four solid matches of decent length last night? Yeah, I would say. You I would have, say so. Uh, Bailey and Sasha, mm-hmm. the uh, Fatal Five-Way. Yeah. Um, the Roman versus Sheamus. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Miz then, and Cena. And yeah, Miz and Cena that yeah. opened the show. So yeah. it was... It was uh, I think that was all of the matches besides that tag team match. Uh, the women's tag and the men's tag. No cruiserweights oh, yeah, again. Right. Yeah. So, well, you know, have, having them focus on the tournament that only takes place on 205 Live but, is the right thing to do. But we're getting rid of the cruiserweights and we're getting more women's segments. It's true. Although we generally had two. Not- two plus the Oscar thing. Right. And then we had the backstage segment as well. Yeah, that's true. The two matches, and it, they're yeah. It, it seems like they're doing a little more now. Yeah, that feels more significant. Right, and the cruiserweights don't need to be on Raw. No, it, it doesn't help them in any way. No, unless something actually happens of note. It doesn't help the yeah the cruiserweights or the Raw roster. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, yes. How did, how did this sucker start? So we open the show with John Cena. Mm-hmm. Um, Who's galore? Apparently, he sucks. That's what I. Yeah, hear. exactly. Um, we got to see why John Cena will never be heel after the uh, the whole thing with The Miz. Oh, yeah. Um, but anyway, he comes out, and he's hyping WrestleMania and the WrestleMania moments that mm-hmm. everybody must have. And he even says that WrestleMania can bring legends back from the dead. I don't know if he's, you know, hinting at something here. Yeah, that would, that would make sense. But, you know, and uh, he basically says he's out here to face the truth because he may not have a road to WrestleMania. And... <laughs> He must win the Elimination Chamber match to face Brock Lesnar. So this year, more so than I recall, Mm -hmm. they really put a big, like, emphasis on the road to WrestleMania and how big it is. Yeah. Which is funny because (laughs) normally what they do is they, they, like, focus on the importance of specific things. Oh, you mean it's more forced this year? Yeah. Point at the sign. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, because normally it's more like, okay, I want to have this match mm-hmm. or I want this opportunity. Right. Whereas now they're kind of just saying, oh, I want to be there. Yeah. As if they're not contra- contractually obligated to be there. <laughs> and we know John Cena's going to be there. When was the last time he uh, wasn't at a WrestleMania? Uh, it's been a while because yeah. even the one that he missed technically because he was hurt, he was there. Mm. So Exactly. And that was the only one within the last 10 years probably. I'm exactly. sure he's been at yeah. all of the. So ones. I mean, him coming out and saying that he doesn't think he's going to have a match it's at Mania. Funny. It was just, it was just one of those things. Like, come on, yeah, guys. Because the truth of the matter is, if John Cena wants to be at WrestleMania, he will be at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. He'll get For out probably that until shovel, the, until Baron Corbin, he's not on the show. He'll probably be there until the day he dies. So okay. <laughs> well, I'm just saying <laughs> bold that, statement right well, there. No, because that because the, there's obviously never going to be a reason why he wouldn't have a legends contract when he retires oh, yeah no absolutely so he's getting to that point now well even but even so you mean because you know that um for a long time hogan mm-hmm. would show up sporadically especially yeah. at wrestlemania no that is true um and then you got like mcfoley who does a lot of stuff with them not a lot but occasionally does well, stuff. he's doing a lot on the independents now I know, I'm just He's saying, we haven't seen him in yeah. quite some time. Yeah. Um, he wasn't even at the 25th show, right? That is true. That's yeah. weird. Uh, now that I think about it. 
Because he, he was part of one of the top Raw moments. Or he was there and we just forgot. I don't think so. I don't think we saw yeah, him. But. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Anyway. But anyway, yeah. So Cena says he's going to win the Elimination Chamber and face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. And, yes. You know, he would win his, what was it, 17th title, right? It would be, yeah. His 17th world title. Yeah. But he didn't bring that up. But I guess that's irrelevant. Well, he said make history. All right, fair enough. So guess, he was alluding yeah. to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then The Miz comes out, mm-hmm. and he says that 2018 is the year of The Miz, which I'm pretty sure he claims every year that it's going to be the No, year. actually, I don't think so. No? No. The I think, first time? Well, I think it was at Raw 25th. He said that t- 2017 was the best year for The Miz, right. and 2018 uh, will be the... Yeah. yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Miz says that he's going to win the Elimination Chamber and beat Brock, which mm-hmm. John Cena is like, you against Brock? Well, I guess he, you know, could miss a flight or uh, what else did he say? Yeah. Uh, uh, he said get that, frozen, right? Yeah, he could get frozen solid. <laughs> and he said that if the match happens, it'll most likely be your last match. Exactly. Yep. Um, and I think The Miz kind of calls him a hypocrite by yeah. saying that you were the founder of Suplex City. Yes, yes, he did say that. And then, um, uh, and then Miz says that, you know, I beat you at Mania in the main event. Yes. And then uh, John's like, you know, you always come up with some way to uh, get the upper hand. Mm. And Cena's like, you know what? Let's have a match. The winner, or actually the loser, yes. will be the first entered in the chamber. Yes. So and Miz says, why would I do something stupid like that? And then the Miz Taraj attacks. attacks him. And then Cena's on the ground. Miz grabs the mic and says, you know what? Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Get a referee out here. Yep. And then Angle comes out and says, this match is going to happen now. And then he says, Dallas and Axel, you're out of here. It's kind of funny because um, Miz shouldn't have said that he accepts the challenge mm-hmm. because then Kurt Angle yeah, just came come out. out yeah, and, and then this would have given the room all, Miz all to he, be pissed. All he did was reiterate what the Miz had said. Mm-hmm. So, but, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. So we start out the match, and John Cena is laying on the ground still, which I don't know why the referee would start the match out with one of yeah, the you're competitors not, you're laying You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to make sure both competitors are able to continue. Yes, you know, asking him if he's able to continue. Yeah. Uh, so the Miz constantly goes for pins. I think he tried, what, two or three times? Uh, it could have been three, yeah. Yeah, but um, no, they had, they had a decent match. Um, I wouldn't say any of them looked stronger than the other. It was pretty even. No, yeah, the, um, Cena does a very good job at making his opponents look good mm-hmm. and the Miz, you know is himself yeah uh, a lot of submissions yeah surprisingly because mm-hmm. neither of them are really known for it yeah. like i know that um they each have Miz, fin- you know yeah. the Miz does the figure four a has lot has he ever had anybody tap out i don't the think figure so four. but he does it all he does, he does. It often, yes 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 but he never it's not mm-hmm. his thing and then but Cena, both submissions were put on multiple times and then to the ropes and yeah. then each of them ate the other one's finisher and kicked out yeah the Miz actually kicked out of an AA. Yes. So, although that move's kind of lost a little bit yeah. of lust ever since uh, Reigns. Um, probably before that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, AJ kicked out of it multiple times. He also kicked out of the Super AA. He did. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's true. So, so it's not like it's it. It's been longer yeah. than. There was one spot in the match that I was cracking up over uh, when Cena went to the top and the Miz bumped the ropes and Cena was having a hard time like falling down. But I'm guessing it was because of the jeans because he can't. Yeah. stretch out that far yeah it was just funny mm-hmm. but miz and cena battle to the top and awkwardly trying to figure out what to do here yeah the miz attempts a super skull crushing finale yeah and... um that was surprising because i don't know why he would go <laughs> after that but it know. obviously led to john yeah. cena doing the super aa yep which was uh how he ended up winning and beating the miz uh, the Miz is very upset. Mm-hmm. He starts crawling to the front, and then as he or to the entrance, as he's crawling, JoJo announces that the <laughs> and Miz and the loser of the match, yep, the Miz <laughs> will be the number one entrant to the Elimination Chamber yeah. match. Um, obviously, it doesn't matter who enters first, because guess what? Number two comes in at the same time. It's, it's like the Royal Rumble, and we will get to that later on. Why they don't announce a number two? No, but I mean the the start how how the match is probably going to start. Oh 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 okay okay yeah, I'm enough. sorry that, yes that would that would make more yes, sense. Yes, I'm like yes. it really doesn't make a difference. <laughs> no, the, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, so it was a solid match start to show. Mm-hmm. Um, they've been doing that quite often lately, actually, especially with John Cena, mm-hmm. and very low key because uh, it wasn't really made a big deal. John Cena has been on Raw for the last month straight, every single episode. Really? Yeah. I know, I know we don't really think about it, but he's been in every single episode for the least since, I think, the week before the Rumble. 
the 25th anniversary? Yeah, the, yeah. I don't even he, remember what the hell he did then. He, he fought with Elias. And he was oh, there the week right. before yes, that, yes, too, yes. I think. That's right. So it's been at least a he month. He took the guitar shot that night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess he's back at least until Mania. Yeah, I was gonna say what the hell did he do last week, but that was his match against mm-hmm. the, the Triple, uh, the triple match. Threat, and the week we... before it was against Finn. Yep. Huh? Holy crap! So, You're right. Yeah. So uh, it. But again, that's my point. They're not making. They didn't even notice that he's back because thing. they didn't make a big exactly. think about it. He was just there. Granted, you, and you don't notice when he's not there. Right. Because the. He's not an essential. He's just a nice piece. But that's but that's what they're doing with like mm-hmm. like with the whole Roman Reigns thing. As much as people want to bitch and complain about it, which I get, but it's he's not being forced upon anybody. Oh yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He's he just was, casually thrown into a match. That's he was it. in he was in a mid card match that had nothing to do with anything nope. except for him defending Rollins. Mm-hmm. Technically, yep, that was it. And Rollins didn't get involved. Mm-hmm. They didn't make a big stink about it. Yeah. It was just Roman against Sheamus. Yeah. Oh, and during the match, they kept saying that Cena has entered the chamber number one in one. He's probably entered it every single number in one. I think he's won like seven of them. Is he really? I think so. He's won uh, multiple. Yeah. That's for sure. It, uh, I'll find out for sure. But I know he's he's won several. Mm. Um, he yes. should have won last year, but he didn't. Uh, but, hey, now Bray Wyatt had a reason to... Uh, have something to say about the elimination well it's because he won it last year (laughs) exactly granted Um, i'm sure nobody actually thought that he was gonna win last year no 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 or be in next the next year's one that's true so we have a promo backstage with uh, matt hardy claiming that this is his second chance to fulfill his destiny and that all of his opponents will be made obsolete and the elimination chamber will now be known as the deletion chamber yeah he's uh <clears throat> he's an interesting character yeah there. but and then we go uh we have another backstage segment with the club and uh this time we get the nerdometer on the screen so rather than just the words popping up so at least oh, it's yeah. a little bit of a better yeah. graphic it's like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> it was like when you go to the uh, uh sporting event and they have you clap to, oh uh, yeah the, yeah, the yeah. clapometer mm-hmm. or whatever exactly he's won three so I was off, but still. Oh, okay. The fact that he's won yeah, three, that's, that's, that's it's quite cool. a lot. Triple H won, I think, two or three as well. Yeah, he's three, four. I find he's it got funny. the golden shovel. I find it funny. He's, he's won four. Oh, my God. Uh, not that it mattered, but <clears throat> at the Elimination Chamber 2015, Ryback defeated Sheamus, Dolph Ziggler, Mark Henry, R-Truth, and King Barrett. Wow. That's funny. It was for the IC title, mm-hmm. but still, it's interesting. The same year they had the tag team one, too. Okay. Anyway. Well, you're going off on a tangent here. I know, but it's just funny. Yeah. Like so tell us about the Nerdometer. <laughs> what, the match? No, the segment in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah well, basically, like you said, they uh, they were talking about how um, they're getting sick of the Revival saying they're the best tag team. Mm-hmm. And just because they can name all the tag teams doesn't mean Since they're the 1920 best. 1920 Yeah, they, like they said a number. I couldn't remember what the number was. Um, so, but yeah, and then, yep. uh, then Gallo says that it, that doesn't make them the best tag team champ or best them tag team, makes them a bunch of nerds. Yeah, that uh, is their claim to fame. I love Gallo. He's, mm-hmm. he's funny. They're both fantastic. All right. So, uh, up next we have the match yep. between the two. Mm-hmm. It's funny when they, or it's weird when they do that where the, the backstage segment is immediately press, uh, preceded by... supposed to transition into the match. It makes sense. It's true, but it's it's weird because sometimes they'll do it back to back and then other times they'll be mm-hmm. like like hours away or an hour away. That's or true. Yes. So, uh, But I think they've been more consistent with, with it happening afterward. Yeah. I true. mean, not like, I mean, we had promos for the... the uh, Qual- last spot well, yeah, qualifier that had to take place right. over the course of the night right though. right so exactly that, the way they did That's that made different sense. yeah 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 um but yeah anyway mm-hmm. the club come out they get and then they get attacked by from behind by the revival yes. which is their answer i guess to the club's promo so I, I was thinking about something when this happened um this way you ke- technically have only one entrance happening then it's true you get to save time but this did not save any time well i was gonna say them attacking them took just as much time I know, as it would have. I know, but I mean, that's a way that yeah. you could save on an entrance because, like, last week on SmackDown, we had, like, virtually no entrances. Or was it the week before? Um, it was the week before. Yeah, it was probably the week before, yeah. I think. <clears throat> anyway. Yes. 
So the story of this match was that Gallows got his knee taken out mm-hmm. um, because I think he got a chop block yep. during his entrance. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's finally able to get the hot tag on Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson does uh, he does his haya kick, mm-hmm. um, and then but I said as long as he does that kick, I'll be satisfied with this match. <laughs> and then uh, eventually, it was a very odd way that they finished the match, but he's in the corner with both revival people. Mm-hmm. Um, he's he's on fire right now. Both revival people, guys, Dash, Dash and Dawson, Dawson <laughs> whatever. Both revivers. Pay them some respect. No, definitely not. They're they might say they're top guys, but they're not top guys yet. Um, <sighs> anyway, so uh, I don't remember which one, but Dash or Dawson tags in the other one. Um, it's funny because clearly Anderson saw the tag, mm-hmm. but oh, he yeah, acted yeah. as if, if he, he didn't. didn't. I thought he went after the. I think well, they, that that, they said that. Tag Dawson in, yes. and then... But they said that, mm-hmm. but I think it was meant to... Could, because it was clear that he saw it. Oh, because yeah, because I thought Carl Anderson went onto the apron and then he climbed did. the rope. He and jumped then over him. the yeah, apron yeah, yeah, yeah. and hit the other one. Mm. But that's what you would do no matter what, yeah, even if you saw the tag. Um, but yeah, they both come in. Uh, Anderson goes off the ropes mm-hmm. of his own yes. choosing, mm-hmm. and then he gets then set up for the shatter sure. machine. And then uh, he eats the pin, so That's order it. has been restored to the world. Um, <laughs> Carl Anderson is back to eating pins. Yes. Um, but so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. So then we have Kurt Angle come out, and he is going to address Jason Jordan's medical status. Yeah. And he is going to miss WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. The fans are very happy about this. Yeah, it was not nice. No, that's a bunch of jerks. They don't like Jason Jordan, <laughs> apparently. And then Kurt Angle tells the fans they should be ashamed of themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, wishing basically ill upon... Uh, well, it's it's not right because he's hurt and yeah. you shouldn't... You shouldn't wish bad things upon anybody. Yeah. Yeah, he was he's been stumbling on his words a oh, he's lot been lately. Terrible. Yeah. He did that um even he, the every time he's been live on the in this on the stage or whatever. Yeah. He did it like when he announced the mm-hmm. thing at the beginning of yeah. the show and everything. Yeah. Um but yeah, then <sighs> Seth Rollins comes out. Well, we we glossed over something. Oh. Um before he said anything. Oh, yes, yes. He yes. he announced that at um at at the Elimination Chamber? Yes. No, or yes, was yeah, that yeah. Fan? Okay. No, yeah. they, um, Ronda Rousey would be signing her, her raw, raw, con- raw contract. Raw yes, contract. Yes. Uh, but then it was just, that was it. No mention more of it by him, and he went right on to oh, Jason yeah, he, Jordan. Oh, he, yeah, he was very quickly yeah. just just throwing it out there. Yeah. Um, after he in, does says the announcement about mm. um, Jason Jordan missing uh, WrestleMania, yes. uh, Rollins comes out, and he says that, um, yeah, I remember when I... Because they were in San San Jose, I think. Yes, yeah, they were and in San And then down Jose, the road like... was Levi Stadium, where he cashed yep. in his money in bank. Mm-hmm. He talked in about that, uh, where he beat Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Yep. And the fans all cheered him. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, I remember that I was on top of the world, and then I had a injury that sidelined me for, it was like eight yep. months or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> And he and, missed Mania and, you know, that made so him he, think about everything. So he knows what it's like. Yes. Um, so so uh, Angle goes, well, I know that I said that this was your last chance for a ta- for a, the tag team title shot. But what I can do is maybe we can find you another partner. Nope. So I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, God, who is it going to be now? It's not <laughs> going to be Roman. There's nobody next. You're um, going to be with Kurt Hawkins. So, so uh, Rollins goes... I, I, I've had enough of that. The ship has sailed. Yeah. I don't want to face Cesaro and Sheamus yeah. one more time. I'm tired of just being a part of Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. And then at that point, we both go, oh, maybe he's going to SmackDown. Yeah. Um, but no, he says, I don't want to just be a part of Raw. I want to be Raw. Yep. He wants it to be Monday Night Rollins. Which yeah. kind of fits. It's not terrible. <laughs> it does. But I, I've yeah. heard worse things. Oh, absolutely. Um, Could have been Monday Night Ryback. It's true. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> um, and then Kurt Angle goes, well, I can't just give you a title shot. I'm not asking for you to give it. Yeah. I'll learn I, it. I guess he was suggesting that he just be in the Elimination Chamber Yeah, match. that's what Kurt seemed. Yeah. yeah. Um, Although he didn't say it. No. Or Rollins yeah. didn't say it. Mm-mm. And so then... Put me into the Fatal 4-Way. Make yeah. it a Fatal 5-Way. Yeah. And then uh, the fans all start cheering. <laughs> and then that's where Kurt Angle gets the brilliant idea to ask the fans yes. what they think. <laughs> As if they think like there's a chance that they would say no after they already cheered about it. It would have been fantastic. He said, "Well, that didn't sound too promising from these fans." He pretty much did say that. Sorry, Seth. Yeah. 
Um, I was hoping he was going to come out and tell him they got another paternity test and Jason Jordan wasn't his son. <laughs> that would make more sense. Because yeah. he did. I think he did come out and say, I'm not coming out here as the GM. I'm coming out here as a father. <laughs> so dumb. Um, anyway. Wrap, wrap it up, kids. Yeah. So Angle pulls the audience, or the fans, they obviously say yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he makes it a fatal five-way. So that would be our main event later. Yep. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was that definitely threw a wrench in the works, considering what I had brought up to you before we went on, um, that they had leaked the final post, or I guess picture, for the Elimination Chamber, and Finn was the sixth, sixth man, yes. So, I'm guessing they thought, hey, let's change things up. Which makes no sense. Uh, so dumb. They should have just didn't taken matter. it down and pretended like it was never there. Yeah. But, I mean, it does make sense when you think about it that Seth had nothing to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this or was... it was because they didn't know how the extent of yeah. Jordan's injury, mm-hmm. and they said, hey. This was probably always a uh, a possible... A like, backup. Yeah. yeah. So, but I guess, honestly, they could have very easily just put him in a match and had him qualify normally. But this works, too. Yeah. It um, plays into the finish of the match mm-hmm. later on, yes. so it fits. Um, yeah, then we go, we got a Bray Wyatt promo. He mm-hmm. calls himself what? The, Says the he's a shark. Shark in everybody's little fish, and then yeah. he talks about eating each one of them. Yeah, well, he's like, well, none, of, no, no one else is worthy. Yeah. And I won the chamber last year, man. Yeah, and that was his claim to fame. That's it. it That's all he's be. got. It will always be all he has. It's true. Yeah, I was going to say it's sad, but at this point... It's definitely at least true. Yeah, um, it's true. So, like, this, that's, there's no way really to revive this guy's... Uh, credibility? Yeah. No, he's too far gone. But, you know, one day he'll yeah. shave his head and then he'll be something different. And that's then true. he'll be like uh, a whole new person. Yeah. Husky Just need to go Harris. with, like, the cult leader Husky rather than Harris. the family. I guess that's true, but that's technically what the family was. I, I now know, he's got nothing. But, yeah. So, whatever. He could have had mind control powers like with Xavier Woods, and they never did anything. Well, it's because he was scared of him. Yeah, I know. But whatever. Whatever. So up next, we have the match, I guess, that was talked about in the beginning of Raw, right? Uh, or they announced it before Raw? They announced it before a commercial. Yeah. They said okay. that tonight there will yes. be... Uh, Sasha versus Bailey. Because... Mm-hmm. They're in Bailey's hometown, yes. and they said that Bailey. Uh, Bailey said that uh, she could beat Sasha last week. Mm-hmm. That's what the yes. close yeah, this yeah, match yeah, was. Yeah. Um, so early on, mm-hmm. Bailey gets. Uh, well, she of, comes out and her shoulders taped up. Well, it, it's always sh- taped up. Though. Is it? Well, yes. I, well it this, was. It was from her injury. Yeah. Um, over oh yeah. The summer. Oh, I know all about that because they hammered that home. Uh, oh, during the match. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, she. I thought. I don't think she's come out without it on. Yeah, it's just hard to notice because she doesn't really appear very often. I guess that's fair. So um, I think if she's in a match, she has the mm-hmm. tape on. Um, I know she did when she first got hurt, yeah. and I'm assuming that she never stopped wearing hey, it. Yeah. I know Cesaro, uh, Sheamus never stopped wearing it. No, yeah. So and Cesaro had it on for God knows how long. I think he still wears it. So, yeah, every one, I, th- I think every once in a while he doesn't have it on. But yeah. Again, it's one um, of those things that you don't notice until the announcers start hanging it at on. home. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Bailey re-injures her shoulder, mm-hmm. um, and then Sasha's obviously working on it. Um, the match goes on for a while. No big uh, Sasha almost kills herself. Well, that so. was the thing. Bailey was outside the ring, and Sasha kind of looked at her, and I was like, oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. And then Bailey gets up on the apron, and she knocks her back out. And I was yeah. like, oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. And then thankfully it did not happen. Yeah. Um, so uh, at one point... Bailey had, or Sasha had Bailey in the corner, mm-hmm. and like Bailey, like gets out of it and like throws Sasha into the face first into the turnbuckle. Mm-hmm. Um, they end up in the corner again with uh, Sasha sitting on the top rope. Bailey tries to do something. I guess go for a superplex, but it wouldn't have worked the position. That yeah, so I guess they said Sasha put her legs around the second rope and yeah wouldn't allow um, it. so yeah. she knocks bailey off bailey gets a second wind jumps on the turnbuckle mm-hmm. it's a i guess a middle rope ba- bailey to yeah. belly and uh she pins her that was that um so bailey got a clean win over mm-hmm. sasha banks yeah um because then, you know oh yeah it, it 
it could have gone either way. Yeah, and it, it was just, a, it was a good match. They actually had a finish. Right, no reason for one not to win over the other. Uh-huh. And this is a third week in a row with a very high quality women's match. Yes. Um, but yeah, the two of them kind of look at each other after the match and almost seemingly like Bailey was going to hug her or something was going to happen. Or shake hands yes. or whatever. And then Nia Jax comes through the crowd or wherever she came from, yeah. comes into the ring, attacks both of them, lays them both out. Mm-hmm. And, that, and that was that. Yep. So then she walks up the stage and uh, Charlie comes out and interviews her and she's like, well, why did you get involved with two women that have nothing to do with you? And she said, well, both of these women took Asuka to the limit and I just put them both down like that. So I will be the one to break the streak. Yes. Good segment. Mm-hmm. It's all you needed to bring yep. Nia on the show. You showcased her. Simple as that. It was solid. That's it. No uh, no extra over-the-top nonsense. Oh. So I was thinking about this just now. How do you think um, Nia Jax's and Enzo's relationship is now? <laughs> we'll never know what they were going to do with that. And we were better off not knowing no, what they were going to no, do. No, no, especially no. since when they were doing the 205 Live House shows and Nia was the referee and constantly Samoan dropped Cedric Alexander leading to Enzo's victory. And yeah. It's so I, I was unnecessary. just kidding. I know. It's just so unnecessary. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> some some things are better off. Yeah, anyway, so not being uh, on TV. we got a backstage segment. Mm-hmm. Roman Reigns walks up on Seth Rollins. Uh, Ro- <laughs> Roman says, "I hope you win this match tonight, yeah. so I can eliminate Limit. you, just like it did in the Rumble." Yeah, that was good. Rollins goes like, "Don't be like that, man. That's not cool." <laughs> and uh, then and then at this point, the bar comes over, mm-hmm. and then they say that Seth Rollins is a failure. Yep. And he says, "No, uh, what do you say, Jason Jordan and Dean Ambrose are." At home, talking about what a failure you are as a tag partner, right? Yeah. And then also that he's a lousy tag team partner, yeah. obviously, because mm-hmm. everyone keeps on getting injured. Yep. Um, and then what Roman makes a joke about Cesaro. He's like, "What happened to your teeth?" Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. And then he looks at Sheamus and he's like, "You better not have anything to say, because you know." And then we were going to get a match between the two of them. Yeah, this was yeah. not announced in, or until it's suggested mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Um, as the bar walk away, Rollins goes, "Nice skirt," to uh, to Sheamus, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yep. Um, so, yeah, after that, we get an Asuka package. Yeah. So, and then they, like you had written in the notes, they talked about her victories and the days she held the title and everything. And yeah. like she's had numerous victories over Naya. It's true. <laughs> it's just weird that they make her, you know, the irresistible force. And then this this was just to get. Uh, yeah. I, it was just on Asuka. Asuka on the show. I get yeah. it. So I get it. It works. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So then we have Renee interviewing Titus worldwide. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Titus grabs the microphone from Renee. She's like, yeah, I, I got this. You take a Titus worldwide vacation or something like yeah, it was that. Something <laughs> weird. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, Titus asks what Apollo about everyone's catchphrases. Yeah. Well, he goes um, something like, "Is Bray gonna eat you?" Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like, "He ain't gonna eat me. I ain't no fish." Yeah. And then, I mean, he had it. It wasn't a bad. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't thing. bad. Yeah. It was just. It was very corny. He said that he's not going to be deleted. That's... He, he said he won't. He won't be joining Balor Club. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's not. He's going to extinguish Seth the, Rollins. Yeah, and he tries he's to not burn, burn it down. Me down. Yeah, yeah. So and uh, then uh, he says, you know, his his catch is uh, Cruz can't lose. Yep. And then the three of them. Start dancing, start, yeah, and they just keep on saying "Cruz can't <laughs> lose" over and over again. Yeah, that was that was it. Yeah, yeah. Um, got him on TV. That's it. It's true. And uh, well, when we get to the match, we'll get to it. I was gonna say Cruz looked good in the match too. Mm-hmm. Um, he's well, definitely the times that he wasn't laying on. The well, outside he's of the he's ring. been consistently on Raw too. Yeah, it's true. But and it's he's just funny. He spent de- he spent a large portion of the match outside though. Yeah. So it's kind of well. I mean, the match is cluster. He it's true. five guys. It was a mess. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so Alexis backstage and she runs into Mickey and Mickey's basically wants to know what Alexis angle is here. Mm-hmm. You know, come out and save me last week. Because it was very out of character. Yes, yeah, and Bliss says she's she wants to clear the air with her. And mm-hmm. she says, I'm jealous of you. You're a mother and a wrestler. You can mm-hmm. you can do it all. Yeah. And then they they, they go back and forth a little bit about biscuit butt and you know, uh Mickey goes on about her calling her old and bringing out the depends and all that stuff yeah and um 
Wait. Alexis says, you know, what happens if Absolution teams up in the chamber? They can take away the title or something. Like yeah. That. Well, they, she said that they could play uh, keep away with the right, title. Right, yes. And it'll just be Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville every night on mm-hmm. Raw. <laughs> so. Yeah. But, yeah. Then Mickey says that she'll play nice for now, but at Elimination Chamber, she's coming for the title. Yes. So that was that. Coincidentally, this, she's going to be in the match. The only the problem I had with this segment is it kind of went on for a while. Like yeah. It seemed like it was just <coughs> going and going and going. Yeah, it's it's true. It was a little mm-hmm. a little off pace. but yeah. Oh, no, no. You know what was bad during this? The sound. Oh, the sound the, quality? Yeah, the sound was really bad during this, at least on my end. Because mm-hmm. it seemed like they were underwater. <laughs> like it had that effect. That's like, odd. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes or somebody was using don't... the, you know, and they did those... Uh, uh, like mystery people, like on on the news, oh, keeping someone's filters. identity yeah. hidden. Yeah, it almost sounded like that. Huh. I didn't notice, yeah. but doesn't really mean yep. anything. So then we got a women's tag match with yes. Sonia and Mandy versus Mickey and Alexa. Yes, um, Paige was at ringside, not in ring attire like she is normally. But uh, actually, I think she was. Well, she, she just I had, like, she had a sweatshirt on. I thought she had street clothes on. Well, it, it, she had like the sweatshirt tied around her waist. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of hard to tell if okay. she was swearing. Fair enough. Um, either way. Yeah, it was um, a pretty short match. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess Mickey got isolated for a majority of the match. Yeah, Alexa. I don't think Alexa entered the match no, at all. Yeah, she did. Or she started it, maybe? No, she, she came in at one point because uh. she did her little flip and then double knees and all that. Okay. And uh, I guess toward the end of the match, right before the finish, Paige walked over to uh, to Alexa and was distracting her. Yeah. And then um, Mickey almost gets the tag, but Alexa gets yeah, pulled Mickey off was the trying ring. to crawl, and then Sonya ran around, pulled Alexa off the apron, and yep. Mandy hit her finisher, and that was that. Yeah. Then uh, Absolution attacks Mickey after the match, mm-hmm. and Alexa comes in for the save. Yes. She's so kind of... basically, the same thing as last week. Yep. She still got her back for the time being. Yeah. She needs to create allies. In, in Al- Although um, Alexa got a nice punch in, I think it was on Mandy, mm-hmm. and then Sonya kind of just rolled out of the ring. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go. Yep. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. So up next, we had the best segment of the night. Yeah, th- this this was... Man, I'll let you get into this it. We'll talk great. about it. This is so good. Um, so Elias comes out and does his spiel. Mm-hmm. Um, he was going to sing the Elimination Chamber Blues. Yeah. Well, no, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. They yeah. announced that that's yeah. what he's going to be mm-hmm. doing. So he comes out. He makes fun of uh, all of California, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, and then he goes on and does what everybody else is doing, doing for the rest of the night, running down all his competition, mm-hmm. saying how he's going to beat John Cena, he's going to beat The Miz, he's going to beat Roman. Um, so <laughs> during his little song, the crowd just erupts yeah. with, like, with... Uh, with screams and applause and stuff. Uh, and obviously on TV, we can't tell what's going on. So like, what is that? Someone like just, coming out? Yeah, we had to. I, yeah. I figured that was what was so going to happen. So he continues. He finishes his song. <laughs> and then JoJo announces, ladies and gentlemen, Braun Strowman. And then he's sitting at the top of the ramp. <laughs> just the microphone in front of him. And but, he had, oh no, yeah, it was just. Yeah, was, and then all of a sudden you see him reach over into the darkness and he pulls. Was that a a bass? Yeah, a bass guitar. Not a bass no, guitar. It was, it was just, just a, a bass. bass. Yeah, like the the, lar- the huge uh, classical instrument. Yeah. Um, um, but but he's holding it as a guitar. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's big. <laughs> he's big enough. Doesn't matter. So, so Elias is looking at him at this point. He's like, "Oh, this has got to be good." Yeah. So Braun Braun <laughs> sings his own song. Uh, he he goes to strum the bass, and the, one of the strings just snaps. <laughs> Broke the, whole, broke the whole thing basically <laughs> yeah so then he's just like whatever and i'm gonna keep going with this yeah but i mean have you ever seen somebody just used in so many different, different yeah. roles since you know somebody like steve austin mm-hmm. he, um so i was thinking this last night mm-hmm. you know how they want roman reigns to be the next john cena oh, i thought we've gone over this Braun already. Strowman is the next john cena uh, we already went over no, this. i'm just saying this kind of solidifies it, it it's because- been solidified you well, watched his stuff off of TV as well when he did the elf thing, and then the. But but what I'm saying is a lot of that's a lot of the time they don't translate it onto TV. Fair enough. 
Because this but, is like the first time he's done anything somewhat comedic. That's true, on TV. yeah. Because I mean, I guess the mix match challenge wasn't. Really it's not. It's not canon. Kind of, yeah, that's true. Also, him him saying "get these hands" oh while God. not inherently funny, <laughs> or I would say is not literally funny. Right, right. But in uh, practice, it is hilarious. Um, and he then also, the crowd is chanting, "Get these hands!" Yeah. I mean. Also, um, and he gets the biggest. That, that was how the song ends. Yeah, he's yeah. going to get these hands. So he gets up and he starts walking towards the ring, bass, the guitar, bass, bass <laughs> in tow. He's <laughs> lifting it over his shoulder like it's nothing. Um, he he makes it to the ring. Elias goes, "I'll put my guitar down mm-hmm. if you put yours down." And Braun is like, "Whatever." So he goes into the ring. Elias tries to attack him. At this point, Braun grabs him by the throat, hits him with the power slam. No, he hit him with the big chop for, or the big uh, oh, with yeah. the big <laughs> slam or the slap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elias just fell like a ton of bricks, and then yeah. he hits the the ever so dangerous yet graceful and oh, uh, his soft just landing soft. power slam. Yeah. Oh, it, it's just so good. And then at this point, we see Elias get out of the ring, and he's crawling up the stage. And Braun just kind of looks at the audience, and the audience obviously wants him to do more damage, so yeah. he gets out of the ring. It's kind of. Picks up the base, just kind of slowly follows behind him, waits till he gets up to the top, and then he just cracks it right over his back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was uh, that was great. Oh my god, so good. Like I said, I, I watched it multiple times. Oh yeah, it's it, it was just so good. He's got such good. He he's so natural. And he yeah exactly. He, and he just ran with it. Yeah exactly. Well, That's when it crazy. broke. It probably wasn't. He was probably just supposed to strum a couple times in between his yeah his lines. Uh, but it's just so good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so up next, we have a Balor promo, one of the iPhone, iPhone ones, ones where he's kind of holding it like this. Yeah. Um, With his big smile on his yes. face. Yes. He basically says he's going to win the Elimination Chamber, too. Not Nothing different no. than anything else anybody said. Yeah. Um, then we go to Sheamus versus Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cesaro was at ringside. Um, Reigns and Cesaro got into it a little bit. I think he. I'm threw, just here to watch. Yeah, he threw Cesaro into the crowd, right, and then hit him with a Superman punch. Yeah, on the uh, the guardrail. Mm-hmm. Go back in the ring. I think uh, Sheamus hits a white noise. Ro- uh, Roman Reigns kicks out, mm-hmm. goes for the bro kick, and unsuccessful. He, he did something he doesn't hasn't done in a while. He went for the bro kick like he used to. Yeah, because nowadays if he hits it it's like out of nowhere where it used to be a big setup like mm. sweet shim music yes yeah. right um and i guess what sheamus went up to this second this rope was puzzling rope? yeah because sheamus normally doesn't really do that mm-hmm. that often especially not by himself yeah but he nice. went up it looked like he was going for a double axe handle or at least that's the only thing <laughs> the he move that always done. works <laughs> yeah. um and in the process of coming down he gets hit with a spear and then uh, he gets pinned by Reigns. Yeah. And that was it. Um, yeah. I, I kind of watched this match out of the corner of my eye because I was too busy looking at memes and stuff like that of uh, Braun, Braun playing the guitar. Yeah, not a Twitter. whole lot to this match, but it no, was just it, a solid it, match that was, took up who that, you know, held yeah. the time together. Right, exactly. Or I should say and it, it, wasn't it was a good use of time. It was yeah. a solid match. Right. And, yep. you know, it didn't mean a whole lot, but no, it felt... it didn't need to. It felt like it was like a match that made sense. Right. We still need to get one of the tag champions on uh, on TV. It's true. And then we get the announcement that Ivory will be inducted into the Hall of Fame of yeah. 2018. Um, not that I, I personally care too much, but they put China in a lot yeah. in this. But there's no way she's going to be in it this year, not right? Not this because year, Because Ivory no. is the woman. The yeah. woman. The woman. 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 That uh, um, got inducted. Yeah. And that means I think there's two spots left. I think they do Probably. five normally. Yeah. So you got there was five Ivory last year. and the Dudleys so yeah. far. So they usually do a, a headliner, a, at least one woman mm-hmm. and one tag team. Mm-hmm. So it'll be two individuals next. Probably, Probably. a celebrity yeah, of some kind. And then um, another wrestler. But I, I think Ivory was a deserving person. Oh. She never got her real... Oh, no, not really. Um, she, she was Recognition one of, during the... She was one of the... Uh, like one of the anchors, mm-hmm. basically, because she Absolutely. was always around. She was always a quality mm-hmm. uh, performer, but she never really got a lot of recognition. 
probably well, because of what the women were perceived of back then. Well, that was the thing. She was the opposite. Yeah. And that's and, just the whole right to censor gimmick yeah, game to play. They, they really took advantage of that. Yeah. And it was good. Yeah. So that brings us to the main event. Yes. Second chance, fatal five way. Um, yep. This was just basically five guys all over the place. Yeah. Um, uh, so we, of course, had to have the Tower of Doom spot. I thought it was going to happen multiple times. Well, the, it was pretty much set up at the beginning or towards the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, and Bray Wyatt was the only one not involved. Yep. So he, he runs in the corner, splashes everybody. Um, and then it gets broken up, and the fans lose it. Mm -hmm. They go, boo, because they wanted <laughs> they want to see spot. it. Yeah. Um, and then at that point, they start. I think they started chanting CM Punk. Yes, Because yes, they were yes. so upset, that, I guess. That did which happen. makes no sense. Yes. And then later on, the spot does actually, in mm -hmm. fact, happen. Um, I think it was... Um, I think it was Matt Hardy and Apollo, right? Yeah, because the one who is getting superplexed mm -hmm. was, I think, Apollo. Matt Hardy was going for the superplex, mm -hmm. and then I'm trying to think of how it. Yeah, it was because I think it was done strangely. Yeah, because I think oh no 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 Bray no no Apollo and... wasn't in it. Bray was going for the superplex. Mm -hmm. Matt was getting super. Oh, and then Finn and Finn and Seth Finn and Seth power over. bomb right hit uh hit uh Bray. They both go to pin Bray, and then the ref counts to three, rings the bell, and then we don't know who won. Seth thinks he wins. Uh, Bray, uh, Balor thinks he wins. Bray certainly didn't win. Bray uh, took the pin. Yeah, which is not surprising. We knew that was his reason he is for the being. Of you have Matt Hardy and Apollo in this match, and you had Bray Wyatt yep. eat the pin. Of course. <sighs> um, anyway, so... The show goes off the air with yeah. Rollins and uh, Ballard yelling at the referee. The referee doesn't know what to do. Um, and then after probably 15 minutes after the show goes off the air, um, they go to Facebook Live mm -hmm. or Facebook Watch or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, Which, I mean, all right. So we're having problem getting viewers to Facebook when the Mixed Match Challenge is on. But why don't we promote, hey, go to Facebook to see the results, like you had said. Yeah, have Michael Cole come on. Oh, we, we hear that Kurt Angle is going to come out and make an announcement. Go to Facebook Watch and check this out. Yeah, because no. they very easily could have um, just had the finish happen earlier, had this draw out longer, right. and then do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and it's funny because they've done stuff like this in the past, right? Cause there was a couple of SmackDown episodes where something happened at the very end of the show. And they said, watch talking smack or, or something. Just go to the network right. and then yeah, we'll yeah, continue that. coverage there. Yeah. So, but you know, they didn't think. Yeah. They put on a good show and then do something dumb like that, but it didn't have any effect on the outcome. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I had no problem with yeah. it. Oh, also the, the announcement <laughs> was, cause we kind of skipped over that, that, um, since they both pinned Bray, it'll no longer be a six-man Elimination Chamber match. It'll be a yes. seven-man Elimination Chamber match. So I would imagine they're not going to change the structure. No, nope, it'll be three people to start, start the to, chamber. That's yep. what I figured. And it'll be Braun, probably The Miz, and... Well, it has to be The Miz. It'll probably be Braun and maybe Seth. Yeah, or Finn, one of the two. I don't two. think... I think if they want Finn to be one of the last people in it, which is the smart thing to do, I think you should have yeah. him come in right before Elias. Because um, I think that... Had Elias not been in the sixth spot, it probably would have been him in the Miz versus uh, yeah. Braun in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But whatever. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting. This pay-per-view is actually turning out to form like a very yeah. good card. I mean, we have, what, three matches, right? The two Elimination Chambers and the Asuka versus Nia. Yeah. yeah. Um, how long? I, I forget how long they usually last, but they're probably, it's probably close to a rumble length, right? Close to an hour, I would think. Oh, the Elimination yeah. Chamber? I think it depends. It depends on yeah. Well, now we have, have an been, extra person in it. So. Yeah, some have been longer, some have been shorter. Mm -hmm. I think it's just the the quality of the match. I, I was just laughing before because when we were talking about Bray, is Bray was on top of SmackDown and then he comes to Raw and he's just the bottom. Yep, it's true. Um, I would assume that probably not yet. We will get obviously not. Oh no, man! It could work. Have uh, Matt Hardy and Bray in some sort of gimmick match. Yeah, they still have time to build it. We got mm -hmm. two weeks, and it's not well, it's, like you know, only one show left. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, because it's the nineteenth, and then yes. Um, but that feud's already been in place, so there's no reason why they can't yeah. at least do a and uh, I don't see pre-show match doing something at Mania. 
I mean, they it's could. It's possible. They might do a gimmick match at Mania, like a big one. Yeah. Like a Final Elution type match. Yeah, but that would have to... They're going to do something there. Yeah, but but I'm just saying they could yeah, do similar to the House of Horrors. I yeah, think but that didn't take place. It, you know, part, Some, of, part took, of it did. Yeah, but I mean, you're not going to have them. You can do that. Crowd. Look, what they did with Bray Wyatt last year with that, the crowd. That was bad, screen. though. Yeah. That was, and the audience at the arena had no idea what was going on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but at least I don't know. It, All right, it well, would be a bad play, yeah. but they could do it, and yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they did do it. That's true. Um, or they could just have neither of them at the show, or you could, if Jeff's back, have a tag team match between the two of them. Have it on the pre-show. Just have the uh, have brother Nero and yeah. Matt against yeah, well, Bray Wyatt. And who knows? I, I still think Jeff Hardy should go over to SmackDown. And, uh, oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. He he shouldn't be with Matt. He should mm-hmm. let them do their own thing. Mm-hmm. And um, you can even have some sort of, you know, match between the two of them at a. Yeah, a branded pay per view or something. Yeah, absolutely. Like that. Yeah, they could even do like phone things or whatever to mm-hmm. build it. All That's right, the well, nice thing about we're going that. off on a yeah. tangent here. But that that is the nice thing about the phone things is that they feel less restrictive yep. than just like backstage promos. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, but yeah, overall very good raw, mm-hmm. and that was our raw review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.